Hey guys, my name is MJ from 0 to 100 online, and today I'm gonna compare two of the best WordPress page and website builders out there called Elementor and Divi. So stay tuned to see what are some key features about these professional page builders, and please remember, if you can watch the whole video, which I strongly suggest, then with a wise choice, you can create a high quality website. But if you wanna jump to a certain part of the video, you can always use the timestamps in the description. Now, before we start, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more useful videos. Overview DV and Elementor are two of the top drag and drop WordPress page builders. Both let you build a 100% custom website without needing any technical knowledge. But while they share many similarities, some important differences might push you in one direction or the other. I'm not focused on picking a single winner here. Instead, I'll show many similarities and differences to help you pick the tool that's right for you. To do that, I'll compare Elementor versus DV in six key areas, and then compile them all in the end. So if you are ready to start, I put some links for you in the description. And yes it's an affiliate link and I may earn a small commission from it with no additional cost to you. So, let's dig in. Performance One important consideration with any page builder is performance. That is, how quickly will the designs that you create load? I'm putting this section first because I believe that performance should always be the top priority with your WordPress site, that includes your hosting. To make this a fair competition, I'm testing the plugin version of DV Builder vs Elementor and Elementor Pro. I'm doing this to use the same theme. Astra, to compare these builders' performance accurately. Performance Conclusions To make it easier for you to consume the data, here are two tables putting all the data together. Overall, you can see that Elementor does have a slight advantage over DV with its smaller file size. It also performed better on Web.dev's Lighthouse Audit. However, the difference isn't huge, and DV has done a lot of work to close the gap. Overall, Elementor is slightly ahead when it comes to performance. User Interface User interfaces are tough to objectively compare because a lot of it comes down to personal preference. Some people prefer Elementor's interface, while others prefer DV's. For that reason, I can't really declare a single winner here. Instead, I'll just show you how each tool's interface works, and you can pick the approach that you like best. DV UI Here is a preview of DV's UI. Elementor UI Here is a preview of Elementor's UI. Unique features In terms of features, there's a lot of overlap between these two tools. For example, both tools offer Visual drag and drop interfaces, full theme building support, support for dynamic data. However, each plugin also has some special tricks up its sleeve. I'll compare the features that are unique to each builder. DV's unique features one of DV's most unique features is built-in A, B testing, which lets you split test different modules against one another. For example, you could test how different CTA buttons perform. This is a very useful tool for marketing, so it's a big advantage to DV in more business-focused use cases. You can add A, B testing to Elementor using Google Optimize or the third-party split test for Elementor plugin but it's not the tight built-in feature that you get with DV. There's also an important difference inside the form module, conditional logic. While both DV and Elementor Pro offer flexible form widgets, DV's form widget includes built-in conditional logic, while Elementor Pro's doesn't. If you don't want to use a third-party form plugin but you want to build advanced forms, this addition is really nice. DV also includes its own built-in role editor that lets you control which modules and settings different WordPress user roles can access. If you're building client sites, 
You can use this to control which DV features your clients have access to so they don't break something. Or, you can use it to control what contributors can do at your site. Elementor's Unique Features One of Elementor Pro's most unique features is its Pop-Up Builder. With Pop-Up Builder, you can use the Elementor interface, and all its widgets, to design custom pop-ups that you display anywhere on your site. You can create different types of pop-ups, modal, notification bar, slide-in, etc., and also use common pop-up triggers, time on site, scroll depth, etc. You'll also get detailed targeting rules to control when your pop-ups appear. This is a super flexible feature that you can use for all types of lead generation, from email opt-ins to pop-up contact forms, promotions, login, register, and lots more. Pricing Comparing pricing is a tricky subject because Elementor is cheaper in some situations, while DV is cheaper in others, so depending on how you're going to use each tool, one could be more affordable than the other. Free version Let's start at the beginning, Elementor is the only one to offer a 100% free version. What's more, Elementor's free version is surprisingly flexible, even with just a free version, you can build some great looking designs and access the most fundamental widgets. Premium versions In terms of the premium versions, here's how it shakes out. Elementor Pro is cheaper if you only need a builder for a single website. Divi is cheaper if you need a builder for multiple websites. So, if your goal is to keep things free, Elementor is your only option, and it's a great one at that templates. One of the big perks of both of these builders is that they come with large template libraries so that you don't need to start your designs from scratch. Instead, you just import a template, customize it to meet your needs, and you have a professionally designed website just like that. They both have quite large template libraries, but DV has the edge when it comes to the quantity and organization of its templates. DV Templates as of March 2021, DV comes with over 1,500 pre-built templates that you can import divided into 199 layout packs. A layout pack is essentially a themed collection of templates all built around a specific website. For example, you might get one template for the homepage, another for the contact page, etc. Elementor Templates Elementor's templates come in a lot of different flavors depending on the type of content that you're building. In terms of designing pages, you'll get two types of templates. Pages. These are full-page templates. You'll get somewhere around 200 templates with Elementor Pro. Blocks. These are section templates for parts of a page. You can put them together like Lego to design a full page. Elementor also organizes some of its templates into template kits, which are templates themed around building a complete website, just like DV. However, Elementor offers fewer than 25 template kits as of March 2021, though they do release a new template kit every month. You'll also get separate templates for pop-ups and theme building, which technically expands Elementor's list of templates even further. Support both DV and Elementor offer 24-7 support to customers with an active license. Overall, though, the slight edge goes to DV because it offers more flexible options for getting in touch with support. DV Support All Elegant Themes users with an active license get premium 24-7 support. One of the big perks is that you get live chat support via intercom. This is a big advantage as finding live chat support in any WordPress theme or plugin is quite rare. In addition, you can also still access their older forum support system if preferred. The forum system relies on community support though, or, you can help yourself via detailed knowledge base documentation. Elementor Support Elementor's paying customers will get 24-7 premium support via tickets. Also. Elementor maintains a detailed public knowledge base to show you how to use core features, troubleshoot common issues, etc. DV vs Elementor, which one should you choose? In the end, 
there's no clear winner, which is why both of these tools are so successful. It really comes down to your budget, which features you value, and which interface you prefer. Elementor is probably the best place to begin, mainly because it's free if you're just getting started. You can see how you like the free version of Elementor and, if it works for you, you've got a great tool without spending any money. If you're willing to pay, it's a tougher decision. First off, consider the interfaces of each tool. Some people prefer one or the other, so that would be one way to choose. You can test each interface by using DV Builder's Live Web Demo, installing the free version of Elementor. Second, consider if there are unique features that might push you in one direction or another. For example, if you're a marketer, you might really value DV's built-in A, B testing. On the other hand, marketers will also value Elementor Pop-Up Builder, a versatile tool for everything from email opt-ins to promotions, surveys, and more. In terms of performance, Elementor has a slight edge. So if performance is number one to you, that's a point in Elementor's favor. Now, if you want to find out whether these Elementor or DV is worth it, I put a few links in the description for you to evaluate the product for yourself. Also, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you don't have anything to lose. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more useful videos. Also make sure to check the video description if you are looking for really amazing offers and deals including Elementor and DV. I put a lot of useful links there for you. Have fun!